Hi guys and welcome back to Spoonie Life Lover. Welcome to this week's video and as you can tell by the title it is going to be a what's in my bag Spoonie edition. Um, just a few little bits before we get going. We're going to ignore the stack of my face. Um, I've broken out like crazy. Um, it's a total hormonal breakout that time of the month and all that jazz, lovely stuff. Um, also I just want to declare that this is a Spoonie edition of what's in my bag but um, I am not on, a f I don't have a feeding tube, I don't have oxygen, I don't have any of that kind of stuff that I have to carry around with me. This is just purely medication and things like that that is in my bag every day for everyday use. If you can hear any clattering and going on in the background, then that's my dad in the kitchen. Immy might walk into the frame of this video as well or on the table making the camera shake. Here she comes. And also the neighbours children upstairs are being a little bit loud as they've just got home from school. So that's housekeeping done. I'm just going to angle you round slightly. Um, so let's get going. Right, I actually bought this handbag for myself um, online because the story was I used to be a small handbag kind of girl. Um, didn't really carry a lot around with me and basically I went to the hospital the other week and I had nowhere to put anything I had loads of stuff to carry and I use a crutch when I'm out and about to help with my arthritis and things like that and it was driving me insane um, I also get a very dry mouth because of medication and I had nowhere to put a drink and it was just driving me mad and I just wanted a bag that I could throw on my shoulder or however I wanted to carry it and that was big enough to put everything in that I needed and I wasn't going to feel like I didn't have anything I and I had everything that I needed to make myself feel confident and comfortable should the situation arise going out and about. So I have just sorted out my handbag. Now I'm a very tidy and organised person so there's no crap anywhere, there's no receipts anywhere. I do go through my handbag every time I use it, like when I get home, um, I take out anything that shouldn't be in there, I empty it, I take out rubbish, anything like that goes in the bin. Um, I don't like mess, I don't like disorganisation, don't do it, don't like it, um, that's just me. Um, yes, I am also in my pyjamas by the way, because I, your girl is tired and I've had a bad day. Um, so yeah, just a side note um but i am going to show you the bag um it is from ebay and i chose it i'm very happy with it it came beautifully packaged in a dust cover and it came with everything that i wanted it to and it was 15 pounds and i think that is amazing value for what you're getting so i'll show you the bag it's just a tote standard tote bag i just put into ebay small tote bag um and it's got the bumpers on the bottom so it doesn't get scratched um, it's got little hardware here um, it's got gold hardware and it just goes on your shoulder so it's out of the way and I use my right hand for my stick so I can just have this on my shoulder but it also does come with a shoulder strap a crossbody strap or a strap where you can make it a bit longer if that is your jam so I will keep that and I will use that if I need to so that came with the bag. The other two things that um, attracted me to this bag was one, it had very good reviews. I'm just going to move back a bit. Had very good reviews, um, and everyone that bought it seemed to like it. Plus, it came with two other. The straps were very flexible, like you can lay the straps down. So if you do decide to use the crossbody bits, the straps are not rigid; they lay down, which I liked. I liked that it's got a rigid base, so it stands up which is another feature it also came with this which again you could use as a cross body bag because it's got these you could put the strap across and use that just seen that work that out for myself um so yeah it came with this which is like a little bag that's just empty it's just got paper in it and a zip that you can just put inside the big bag and if you if you're a mum for example and you've got nappies and wipes this would be great and you wanted a really trendy like 
nappy bag or diaper bag if you're in the US. Um, you could just store or food, um, snacks for if you've got a toddler and you wanted a really sort of a nice bag but didn't want to pay the earth. Snacks could go in here or snacks for you if you're going to travel. Like for me, if I'm going to travel, I would choose to take this bag. I'd put some snacks in there. Um, if I go to London um, on the train, I might decide to put some snacks in here. Um, drink bottle of drink in here, which I always carry a bottle of water with me anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, choking myself. <coughs> I loved the fact that it came with this. So, you know, you can keep your bag really organised, like I say. Loved that feature. So this came with the bag. And there's also another one which I'm, I am actually using. But I loved this. I thought, this is what sold me on the bag. This is what I was looking for. So, like I say, perfect for mums. It's really good quality material. And it's the perfect size. You could just sort of grab this out your bag, take it to the bathroom and you're done you know or grab out your bag and use it for whatever if you have got a feeding tube or anything or anything like that and you wanted this then you could just grab it and go like i think that's a really great feature of the bag so i'm really happy that i chose this bag now so it's got gold hardware it's got a full zip that you can close the bag so for security i really liked that as well i don't like open bags especially if i am going to be in london i like the fact that it's got that inside also there is a zipped compartment at the back like a security zip and then on this side it's got the little famous stupid phone pocket but i always find use for that and a quite generous large other pocket this side too so i like that too it's by the brand Miss Lulu, they've got loads of things on eBay. I don't know how to link it. I'm really sorry, I'm still learning. But if you just type in eBay, small tote bag, this came up, or type in Miss Lulu bags, it's just Lulu as in the singer, L-U-L-U, -L -U, and it comes up. So I'm just gonna dive in and pull out what's in here, um, and then sort of put it back as I go. So in those stupid pockets that are the side, but I quite like them, I have, I'm immunosuppressed, so I have to be extremely careful everywhere that I go um, with hygiene. Um, if I touch sort of door handles, money, um, after I've been to the toilet, I always carry a hand sanitizer. And this is the Moisture Plus with skin conditioners, quick drying, kills 99% of bacteria fast by the brand Carex. And this I just got in Boots or Superdrug or The Chemist. And um, I like this one because it does what it says and it is moisturising because your girl has eczema on her hands. So I like that a lot. Also in that pocket, also I carry around sweeteners because I don't have sugar or anything like that in my coffee. So, and I find it easier if I'm going back to the car with a cup of coffee, all I need to grab is a stirrer and I can put my own sweeteners in the coffee in the car or whatever if i'm getting takeaway coffee and these are just from tesco's the silver spoon ones if you're interested so they are kind of like situated in that pocket at the moment in the next little pocket is my beauty blender my blotter artsy love this thing um it's got two it's, it's a bit dirty at the moment it's got a mirror I need to clean it Hello, there you are um, and it's got two sponges again I do need to clean it which I will do after this video and it's got one that says keep me don't toss me which is clean and then this one which I have used which is a bit dirty so I need to clean that um, and it's just a blotter um, and I use it to just um, clean like dab my face off throughout the day sorry it means scratching and she's sitting on the table sorry um, and like just keep my makeup looking a bit fresh you could take a setting spray with you and just reapply um anything like that i love this thing some people don't like it think it's unhygienic that's no, fine um the next thing that i'm gonna just reach into my bag is my purse this is one that i got for my birthday i think i think my mum bought it for me um and inside my purse i just have it's a nice purse, it's quite a big purse. I just have bank cards, driving license, um, library card, because I go there to do some printing. I have my Homera patient treatment card. I have my nails, where I get my nails done. Loyalty card, I have a coffee, place I go to get coffee. Their loyalty card, I have a 
Superdrug card, I have a cinema CEA card, so I get money off the cinema because of being disabled. And I also have a my scooter breakdown assist card. I have some cash in here because I do like to carry some cash on me. And I have some change in my change department. And I love this purse, it's nice and big and there's a lot of compartments in it that you can sort of hide away, things like that in it. Um, and it's got a good popper and it's quite pretty. It's sort of like a florally pattern. And this is just from Amazon. Um, again, I don't know how to link, but I'm sure if you just put in purses, it will pop up. It's quite a popular one on there. So sort of that just, we'll leave that out for a moment, that just goes in there. The next thing I'm gonna reach for is two things that I always carry around in my handbag, um, purely for hygiene reasons, and that is packet of tissues. Um, everybody, everywhere I go, always needs a tissue. Or if there isn't any toilet roll in the toilets, which happens a lot, you know, being a woman, it's not as easy as being a man, is it? And also, the other thing I like to carry is some wet wipes. These are just the Andrex Watchlets to go. Again, uh, for men, the main reason that I carry these is because I have a skin condition called Hydradenitis Suppurativa, and sometimes I have um, some wounds to deal with, and if I need to clean a wound while I'm out, um, and I need to redress it. Sometimes I need a wet wipe. So you could also use your hands. These are flushable. It does say they're flushable, but if there is a bin, I will use the bin. Um, and they are um, not very strong perfumed or anything like that. So they don't sting if I do have to use them on a wound. Um, and they do the job. They haven't got antibacterial um, stuff in it which other hand wipes have but I am, am really struggling to find these now they seem to have discontinued them I bought quite a big job lot when they were on offer in Tesco's and I can't find them now so I'm slightly upset about that um, I have looked on Amazon and again the only ones I can find are the big packs so I might have to carry a big pack with me but I'm a bit upset that they don't make the small travel size ones anymore and they are really handy um, and I find you get 12 in here um, so yeah that's always good and also if you just need a wipe if you know the amount of times I've gone into a public toilet and it's just I just want to clean something in there before I use the toilet that's just me um, so I always carry wet wipes also if you're out and about and you have a, a spillage of some sort wet wipes are always good um, the next thing I've got in here is just a body spray just a random um, I always carry a body spray in my handbag winter and summer um, I go to London quite a bit because of the hospital and I just like to have I like to smell nice and I like to have a body spray it's short and long of it really there's no um, long answer the next thing i got is a little cute bottle of dermal this is just a skin emollient um, lotion and again i can use this on my hs or i use it on my hands because i do have quite bad eczema and psoriasis so i use this to keep my hands um, moisturised because I do hand gel or antibacterial gel a lot because I am immunosuppressed and that was in, I got it free from my dermatologist's office so I thought it was quite cute. Um, I need to have a drink, sorry, uh, medication problems. The next thing, headphones. These are just ones, I've had these for years, these are just the Apple ones. I do actually have an Android phone, but I do have an iPod and an iPad, um, and these are just the ones that um, I think came with my iPhone I had years ago, but they are my favourite, and I do have these in case um, I want to edit a video in a coffee shop, or um, if on the very rare occasion I am out at the hospital on my own, if someone doesn't come with me and I want to listen to music or whatever 
I've got them. The next thing in my bag is just a reusable bag because in England we get charged 5p for a carrier bag now. This is just a, it's got ho, old boy on it and it's a Mickey Mouse one from Primark. I believe I got this from Primark and it just has a little cover and it's really easy to keep in your bag. Um, the next thing in my bag is the other little baggy like this one that came with my big bag. So this came with it as well. It's like a little Percy clutch thing. I'll probably end up taking this bit off um, because it'll get on my nerves. Sorry, I've got a itchy face. Um, so this just has got gold hardware. You just push that and the zip comes out and it's got a secure compartment on the top this I think is great this you could be a makeup bag anything like that I don't carry much makeup when I'm out and about don't feel the need to touch up while I'm out um, but this is the spoony part of the no it's not not really well it is a little bit but um, there is some spoony things in here but mainly this is just like the thing where I like to keep things that are a little bit private if someone goes in your handbag they don't always want to get um, a handful of what's in here so the first things that are spoony related is I always carry a dressing I'll take my glasses off because they're annoying me I always carry a dressing this is a Meplex border light and this is the 7.5 centimeter by 7.5 it's completely sealed it's completely sealed apart from the little bits where you grab it and it's completely sterile. If I do need a dressing change while I'm out and about, I stay at someone's house and I forget a dressing. Um, my dressing that I'm, if I'm currently wearing one and it becomes soiled, I've got one as a backup. I also have a completely new sterile pack of gauze or toppers as these are called and topper swabs and these are again completely sterile and ready for action if I need to clean a wound while I'm out I've got on the go um, next thing I have in here is a repeat prescription for my doctor's surgery it's just got all my medication on it and if I'm at the hospital and a doctor wants to know what I'm taking they know if it's not on my notes already plasters uh, hair clip one makeup brush just in case but I usually use the blotter up see if I'm gonna blot or anything a bobby pin just in case a money bag just in case and the next things are Tampax you never know and a nail file again um, and then I got this little case with some a body form and I've just got a spare sanitary towel in there as well just in case um, being a woman you never know when that time of the month is going to appear or I never know because mine are a little bit all over the place so I like to be prepared so I have a regular and a super and I just carry those around with me um, so yeah, that's all what is inside this little bag. So it just keeps it a little bit more private and it's ready to go whenever I need it. So the last bit that's in this bag is in a zipped pocket inside the bag. And this is where most of the spoony side of things is. But like I said, I haven't got a lot of spoony stuff because I'm not on a feeding tube, I'm not on oxygen. Um, so I don't need to carry all of that around so let me get the medication side of things out of the way first so the first medication that I've grabbed is on Dansetron. this is an anti-emetic so it is an anti-sickness so it makes me stops me feeling sick if I'm out and about it's one of my favorite medications purely because there's nothing worse than feeling sick and I'm on morphine and that feeling happens quite a lot the next ones are just plain old paracetamol. My pain team require me to take paracetamol quite often just to top up on my fentanyl patch and just because it's a good drug and it tops up some other medication that I take. So I always have quite a few paracetamol and anyone else, they go, oh, I've got a headache. Do you want some paracetamol? I have paracetamol. 
Um, the next one is beta blockers. These are by Zopalol, which is my normal beta blocker. And these are just a very low dose at 1.25 milligrams, just in case I get any breakthrough palpitations and of my SVT and I'm out and my heart starts to go a bit crazy. And now I can just take a low dose of these and I'm pretty much covered till I get home. So that's that. Then I have this very ancient um, pill pot, which is just... Um, divided inside I don't know how I'm gonna show you it's like got a divide inside so in here I have um, extra morphine which is a very strong painkiller a non-steroidal non anti-inflammatory I have some more anti-sickness I have some buscapan for stomach cramps which helps because I have IBS and I have another anti-sickness in here called metroclopamide, which is the other anti-sickness that I take. So um, this is topped up very regularly. And um, yeah, I keep it topped up. And every time I go out, if I use something out of it, I refill it and that I just find keep, it's less packaging to carry around with you. Um, next thing in this pocket is my radar key this is a key to the disabled toilets if you've noticed some disabled toilets have got a lock on it this is the key to get into the lock um, and into the toilets because I need sometimes to change dressings sometimes I need a bin a special bin and sometimes I need help from another person and also I'm registered disabled so I get the privilege of having one of these not that it's a privilege um so yeah i just carry that on me at all times and i don't have to ask the staff or anyone like that uh if it's in a restaurant or anything like that for the key i have my own um and the last thing in my bag is the only items of makeup that i carry and that is my chosen lipstick this is kat von d um liquid lipstick in lovesick and this is the lipstick that i was wearing yesterday and it's the primark ps velvet matte lipstick crayon in cherry blossom and this is what i was wearing yesterday um, when i went out with a friend these are some of my most favorite these both are my most favorite lipsticks um, for quite similar colors but this is sort of more muted this is more bright um so yeah that's it really nothing too in your face um like i say there is some spoony items but not um as as uh, much as some other people would have to carry like i don't have to carry feed i don't have to carry um you know other stuff um if i am going to be out for a long period of time and it's a wednesday i would have to carry a call bag with my Hamera in it and i would have to then bring that back with me and dispose of that um, because it is an injectable and it needs to go into a sharp spin. Um, apart from that, that's pretty much all I carry. And also, obviously, my phone, which I'm filming on, and my car keys. And I always have a bottle of water with me everywhere I go as well. So that's about it, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed this spoony edition of what's in my bag i love these kind of videos i just like being nosy really what people carry around with them um so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy guys if you did then like subscribe and leave a nice comment down below and um we will catch up shortly bye guys <laughs>